if you want peace, you need to figure out where the chaos is in your life. Most of my hurt are stemming from men, right? Whether it was or my dad not being there because a, a, a piece of me felt like had my dad been present, that wouldn't have happened, right? Um, so you just left me out there to just be hurt, I guess. Like you didn't love me the way I needed you to love me. Did I sit and think like, oh, God right here next to me. It was like, oh yeah, this, this man done, he let me go. <laughs> he must have let me go because ain't no way I'm experiencing all of this stuff, right? But again, when you going through it and you looking for stuff, it's like, oh, I can help you with feeling better. Let me pour this drink. I'm going to pour this drink. Yeah, oh, still with this man. Oh, no, no. Oh, he's going to make you feel beautiful. He's going to make you all the things that I was looking for from my mom or my dad. He was supplying those things, but there was always still that void. Like it was, you're never, it feels good in the moment, but it's not enough. And never was it enough because you're putting all of these things, like you're filling me with all of these things, but what I really truly needed was God. Straighten your body. Keep your feet together. Now lower your legs. Straight. Straight. <laughs> I can live like Spider-Man. <laughs> I know, you like this. <laughs> you go, oh, okay. He said, come on, right here. Come back, so. Jay said he ready to race. You ready? <laughs> Why were you racing? That's, I have to. I got time. That's what we. I, got, I can't be painting nails. <laughs> <laughs> so I like to, you know, do something with them. Typically, we'll either run or um, I'll try to do something daring, like flip. But I don't want to break my neck. Keep your feet together. I always wanted daughters. <laughs> I always wanted daughters, and every single time I had a son, I like when I, we did the ultrasound, I bust out into tears. Like, oh my god, here we go again. Like, I don't want another boy. Like, I was fearful of first of all what's happening in the world with men surrounding men. Um, so to have a son, I was just like, you know what? This is my opportunity to pour into them. I can't win in this. Say that you like me, maybe. So writing for me is therapeutic. I never intended to be an author, which is crazy. <laughs> like I genuinely just started, I went to therapy um, on my, you know, my little healing journey and I started writing and as I started to progress in my writing, I'm like, oh snap, I started making a timeline. And as I made my timeline, I realized all of these things transpired before the age of 30. Me writing my books is informational, but it's also, again, connecting with other people. I won't necessarily call it the Me Too movement, but to let them know that it's okay to talk about it. You do have somebody that been through X, Y, and Z, and you will get through it. And I feel like because my perspective shifted, I found peace. I would tell my younger self that everything that you are going through, God is gonna use it for a much larger, like he's gonna use it, he's gonna, I would tell, ooh, God, I gotta start this over again. <laughs> ooh, goodness. Mm. Okay, a message to my younger self. I would tell little Brittany to be brave. Trouble do not last always. And everything that happened is, is, is meant. It was just meant. And that God was going to use me to help the next young woman that's experiencing the same thing that I'm experiencing. Nothing that I've been through is in vain. And to just hold on because change is coming. Pick up my cross now Follow after Jesus Christ Yet 
Jesus Christ.